Hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free maths videos. This one's about ratios, so we're going to split things up um, by ratios, i.e. split them up in certain size groups. So in this example we're going to split the 21 pounds up by ratio 2 to 5, which really just means that we're going to split my 21 up into 7 parts because 2 plus 5 is 7 and 2 parts will go to one side like you can see in this picture and 5 parts will go to the other side of my answer as you can see also in the picture so let's do that 21 divided by 7 is 3 pounds so 1 part is equal to 3 pounds so 2 parts as I, I said in my question okay, is equal to 6 pounds and 5 parts as the question says is equal to 15 pounds because 3 times 5 is 15 so that's my answer 6 pounds to 15 pounds is basically splitting 21 pounds in the ratio 2 to 5 2 parts is a 6 pounds 5 parts is equal to the 15 pounds now let's look at ratio from a different angle we've got a recipe for something in this case poo which is made up of mud water and meat not necessarily true what they say in the questions you know okay and so what this is saying is so, um, three parts of the recipe for p any quantity of poo is mud and two parts of the uh, recipe for poo is water and five parts for the recipe for poo is meat in those quantities so the order in which I say the recipe is in the uh, which rela relates to the order in which uh, I split it up okay so three parts belongs to mud two parts belongs to water and five parts belongs to meat now so we're also told that um, 10 lumps of meat is thrown in. So how much water and mud should I balance with that so that I actually get nice poo? Because if I don't have it in the right ratio or the right quantities, I won't get poo, I'll get something else for some reason. Anyway, so as I say, 10 lumps... Uh, of meat is thrown in so that is equivalent to five parts so to work out what one part is worth I divide it by five I divide my ten lumps by five and that gives me two so that means each part is equivalent to two lumps okay so that means if I want two parts that's equal to two times two lumps which is equal to four lumps of water sounds a bit strange isn't it lumps of water but I'm t talking about lumps of stuff so I'm talking about lumps of everything so um, and to work, work out the mud which is equal to three parts I have to do three times two lumps okay which gives you six lumps of mud and that's it really that's how you do ratio